Hello everybody, Lunami here. Today I'm going to be covering the third map in Gigantic called Siren Strands. Let's kick things off. The first summoning location is in front of your guardian called Norwalt and Anchor. The second summoning point is situated in front of Norwalt and Anchor called Sirens and Barge. The third summoning location is situated off the left or right hand side of your guardian depending on what side you spawn called Falls and Sub. The fourth point is situated in the centre of the map in front of Falls and Sub. This point is called Ship. Now moving on to the types of summons to summon at each point, starting with Norwals and Anchor. I recommend summoning a Fire Drake or a Cerberus. A Fire Drake will rain down periodic seed attacks in the surrounding vicinity and overlook Falls and Sub. A Cerberus, on the other hand, will provide your vision on the backline, extending over to Sirens and Barge. Now moving on to Sirens and Barge, your frontline summoning point, I recommend summoning a Bloomer here as it will offer you sustain when going into fights or taking Guardian Wounds. It is one of the key points you will need when going into Clash. Bloomer pools spawn just in front of Sirens and Barge, they spawn very close to each other and also one pool and spawns under the Bloomer. Now moving on to the last of your team's summoning points, Falls and Sub. I recommend summoning a Cerberus or a Cyclops here. The Cerberus will offer you not the best vision improvement but is a solid pick to use against Assassins as it is fairly strong and it will take a lot of time or deter the enemy away. A Cyclops on the other hand will offer you a wall blocking one of the major paths that split into three to your Guardian. This summoning point is more about knowing the enemy team composition before you place anything here. And finally the neutral point, Ship. There are three summons that all work well here, a fire drake that will offer you annoying poke to anyone around ship and will give you a stronger team fight if one should happen around ship with the extra DPS the fire drake can put out. A Cerberus on the other hand will offer you vision into the enemy's side. This is good intel as you'll be able to control and contest the ship orb more freely. A bloom on ship extends your front line and offers you better sustain when going in and out for wounds or having a team fight on ship. Thank you for watching and I hope this video gave you some insight into summoning meta on Sarah's strands for the live test just gone. If you like this video and would like to see more don't forget to check out me of our content and see you on the airship.